All right, so we got this cracked feeder we're going to have to repair. It's causing low SNR on the whole node. It's causing the TX to go up to 55 on the motives downstream. So we're going to repair it. We're going to cut out this cracked feeder. And we're going to cut in another piece of cable so we can get this thing repaired. All right, so I have I actually got two different splices. One splice is an older splice that we use. Uh, we don't use anymore, but I happen to have one left. And I only get this and another splice, so it's going to have to work. But hey, it's no problem. We'll go ahead and get this uh, one side prepped. Ironically, I prepped the wrong side. I forgot which side power was coming from. It was coming from my right. And for some reason, I thought it was coming from my left. So I prepped this side. Of course, when I go to prep the other side, I find out that, you know, uh, the power where the power is coming from. Regardless, we get this side connected uh, and put together. Now we've got to cut out the bad section of cable. So that's what you're seeing here. Do the other side. Get that crack feeder up out of here. Now we start coring uh, the good parts of the cable. The power side. Yep, I realize that we got power on that side, but hey, we got it. we didn't start it, so let's keep on rolling. Let's go ahead and use the gators. Get the dielectric off, start prepping the other side, measure all right, and we get that, that splice connected. Hand tighten, then we wrench tighten it. Now, PNM also looked, directed me to this location as well. Everything um, after this location, the PNM was all red and had showed major impairments. Um, I was hoping it had just been a bad amp module, but. I noticed that my signal was all jacked up on the input of the amp module, so that led me back to this crack. Now that we got that splice on there, we're going to go ahead and cut off a piece of heat shrink. We've got two splices to do, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat shrink off, get that ready. We put that on the feeder. Now we get another side prepped up, getting the other piece of heat shrink prepped up for the other side. You want to have the heat shrink in place before you... Uh, finish connecting everything. Otherwise, you're going to have to undo it to get the heat shrink in place. So we got everything spliced up, heat shrink in place. Now it's time to shrink it. And our leak is being repaired as we speak. SNR good, PNM good. So we'll have the finished product here ready in just a second. This crack feeder was causing a major suck out.